What's up everybody, Stone from Stick on the Ice here and welcome back to another video. With NHL 22 releasing their Team of the Year players yesterday, the thought came to my mind, what would happen if all these guys played together on one team? Could they go 82-0? So what I've done is I've replaced the entire Arizona Coyotes roster with the Team of the Year roster. I don't think anyone's really going to miss the Coyotes too much, because literally in every video I do, they always finished at last, no matter how much help they get. Now quickly, I'm gonna go through all the players on our team. Starting at left wing from the Boston Bruins at a 92 overall is Brad Marchand. And teaming up with Brad Marchand is gonna be Connor McDavid, who's gonna be our first line center after leading the NHL in points in 2021 with 160. To finish off the first line, we're gonna have Miko Rantanen, who's gonna be the starting right winger. After finishing 2021 with 66 assists, Nathan McKinnon's gonna be our second line left winger. Another Oilers making the team in Leon Draisaitl who finished second in goals with 54 and second in assists with 79 in 2021. At a 92 overall from the Tampa Bay Lightning is Nikita Kucherov. Now the reason that you can't see his profile picture is because I didn't want to remove any players from their current team. And the reason that you can see other players is because I took them from their affiliated all-star teams. For example, the McDavid that you see that has a profile picture, I took from the Pacific Division All-Star Team, similar with Miko Rantanen, who I took from the Central Division's All-Star Team. So any player that has a blank picture, I just copied all their stats and put it onto a created player. At a 93 overall, the great 8 Alexander Ovechkin is going to be our third line left winger after scoring 46 goals in 2021, while Alexander Barkov, he's going to be our third line center. To finish off the third line, 90 overall Mitch Martiner is getting the start at right wing. To finish off the forwards, we have Antemi Pernero who's going to be our fourth line left winger, Austin Matthews is going to be the fourth line center, scoring 61 goals in 2021, and Pasta is going to be our final forward, sliding into the final right wing spot. Taking a look at our defense, from the Tampa Bay Lightning, Victor Hemmings is going to be our number one guy after scoring 78 points in 2021. Tied with him at 78 points is last season's Norris Trophy winner and new defensive partner Adam Fox. From the Pittsburgh Penguins and the only Penguin on this team at an 87 overall, Chris Letang. Teaming up with Chris Letang on the second defensive line is going to be Kale McCarr who finished with 70 points in 2021. To round out our final defensive pair, we have 87 overall Shea Theodore pairing up with 90 overall Roman Yossi. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. 75% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. I'm trying to hit 7,500 subs by the end of the month, and I can't do that if you don't subscribe. And drop a like. Let's get 500 likes on this video. Starting in net for the Team of the Year squad is going to be Tampa's third player in Andre Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky led the NHL in 2021 with 48 wins and second in save percentage with a 926. Backing up Vasilevsky is going to be 91 overall Connor Halba. So this is what our team is looking like. The line chemistry for the forwards is amazing with every line getting a plus five boost. The defense isn't getting quite the same boost but they're still getting one. The first and third line are getting a plus three while the second line they're getting a plus two. Now that we know what this team's comprised of, comment down below how many games do you think this team will win. I think it's a bit unrealistic to say we're going to go 82-0 but I do think we can break the all-time single season win record. When the season came to an end we did exactly what I predicted. Well we barely did what I predicted. The team of the year squad's going 63-15-4 which will break Detroit single season win record by only one win. Alongside breaking the win record, this team did some amazing things. They finished 18th all time in goals per game with 4.43 goals a game and 50th all time in goals allowed per game with only 2.34 goals allowed. Now you might be wondering, how many games did this team win before they eventually lost their first? Did they win 5 straight? 10 straight? Maybe 15? Maybe 20? We won 0. We lost the very first game of the season. We lost 3-1 to Columbus. Yeah, that's a bit underwhelming, isn't it? Looking at the top scorers from this team, I'm pretty surprised. Nathan McKinnon's leading the way with 48 goals and 54 assists for 102 points. That I'm not surprised about. Coming in seconds, Brad Marchant with 41 goals and 42 helpers for 83 points. Maybe a bit underwhelming, but he was still over a point a game. And to round out the top three is going to be Dry Sidle with 31 goals and 41 assists for only 72 points. Now, I was expecting more from you, but out of all the surprises, I think McDavid's lackluster season was the most surprising, with him only recording 28 goals and 43 assists for 71 points. No cap, I was expecting like 150 points from him. The disappointment continued for guys like Nikita Kucherov, who's only picking up 57 points, Austin Matthews, who's only scoring 52, and Ovi, who's only picking up 51. I understand that some of these guys weren't playing on the first line anymore, but with all the talent on this team, you basically were playing on the first line. However, the one thing that wasn't disappointing was our goalie situation. Vasilevsky was fantastic, picking up 42 wins while posting a 9-12 save percentage and a 230 goals against. Halbuck was great as well, picking up 21 wins while posting a 9-14 save percentage and a 230 goals against as well. This is what the playoff picture is looking like. Realistically, there should be no way that this team loses, but we have to remember, 
This is EA, and anything's possible with EA. So we've reached the Stanley Cup Final, but not without Vegas putting up a fight. In the Conference Finals, this team was down 3-1, but they fought back to reach the Stanley Cup Final, where we're taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa wouldn't put up nearly the fight Vegas did, and the Team of the Year squad's winning the Stanley Cup, with Connor McDavid taking home the Conn Smythe. If you enjoyed this video, I definitely recommend checking the one out on screen, and if you haven't already, make sure to drop a like and subscribe.